Hello everyone. Chemistry plays a huge role in our daily lives. Everything that is happening around us is nothing but chemistry. It has influenced our life so much that we do not even realize that from morning till late night every day we are using chemistry and its compounds. You must be thinking how? Let's have a glimpse of it. We start our day by brushing our teeth using toothpaste, taking shower using a nice shower gel, then we clean our clothes using a bar of soap and detergent. Nowadays we are very conscious and we are regularly sanitizing our hands using sanitizers. What do you think? What are they? Yes, they all are chemical compounds that we use every day. The food we eat is nothing but a complex chemical compound and the air we breathe is again a chemical compound. We are surrounded by chemical compounds as millions of them exist in nature. Let's take forward this amazing journey of exploring more chemical compounds. Chemical compounds can be classified into three groups on the basis of their chemical behavior. Yes, you heard it right, only three groups. What are these? Before discussing the types, let's take a look at few items that we use every day. Lemon, orange, tamarind, curd, tomato and vinegar. What do they all have in common? Yes, they all are sour in taste. Have you ever got a chance to taste baking soda? How does it taste? Yes, it is bitter. Let's see a few more items and try to find out what do they all have in common. Washing soda, soap and lime. When dissolved in water, they all give a soapy touch. All of these substances are bitter too, but don't ever try to taste them. So, these two different kinds of substances can be classified as acids and bases. Why do you think some sub substances taste sour while the other taste bitter? All these sour substances have some acids in them and the bitter substances have some bases in them. Did you know the word acid comes from a Latin word called acidus? That means sour. These acids might be corrosive. You must have seen this symbol on many of the products. It is a warning sign which represents that the product is corrosive, whereas bases are bitter substances. It is interesting to know that all water soluble bases are known as alkalis. I am sure by now you must have understood that Acids and bases are popular and widely used compounds. When they are mixed in the right proportion, they react with each other and cancel out each other to give salt and water. Can you recall any salt that you use in your day-to-day -day life? Yes, one of the most commonly known examples of salt is sodium chloride. It is an important component of our diet. So. Acid, bases and salts are the three categories in which all the compounds that exist in nature can be put. But tell me, can we classify all the compounds just by tasting them? No, we cannot do that. Identification of all the acids and bases simply by tasting them is not possible. That is because certain acids and bases are corrosive and can harm us. Then how can we test whether a given substance is acidic or basic without tasting it? Can you think of it? We are going to explore how do we identify the nature of the compound in the next module. Let's summarize what we have learned in this module. Based on the chemical behavior, compounds can be classified into three groups. Acids, bases, salts. Acids are substances having a sour taste. Bases are substances having bitter and soapy touch. Acids and bases react with each other to form salt and water.